Hello. Tonight, I wanted to take the time to show you how I made this low poly landscape that I'm using inside of Unity. Because as you know, Unity's terrain does not do like these hard edges like this. So how did I get this in Unity? Well, I didn't make it in Unity. That's step one. <laughs> step one is I did not make it in Unity. So I'm going to show you where I made it. I made it in Blender and here it is in Blender. Okay, so let me make one from scratch with you guys to show you how kind of easy it is. I mean, I know it's not the greatest low poly landscape, but take more time and you could always make something look better. So let me just make another project, start from the beginning. And all these objects that are here, I know I'm gonna take it into Unity, so I'm gonna delete them all. And all I want to put in right now is a plane. Uh, add, mesh, a plane. Okay, everybody should have the plane object. So, well, First thing I want to do is subdivide the plane. And just so I can see the subdivisions as they're coming in, I'm going to put this in wireframe mode. Okay, so I will just keep calling. Um, let me go to edit mode. And I'll just keep subdividing it. Now I have four. The more subdivisions I put, basically the more detail I could have in the terrain. So I kind of divided it up this much and I say, okay, that's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm still in edit mode and I'm just going to pick a couple of the points here. Okay, just some random points around here. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm going to use this um, proportional editing. I'm going to put it on. And you can see that there's a couple of different um, heights that I could pick for it. So let me pick the sharp one to start with. And then I'm going to press G for the selected points and Z so I can move only on the Z axis up and down. So as I move those points up and down, you can see um, kind of like raising hills and stuff like that. But there is this white circle which I could control the size of that white circle with my mouse wheel. So I'm just gonna lower the size down somewhat. Okay, and now I have some mountains there and let me turn on the screencast keys. They are on, okay, they are on. Now they're showing. I, I don't know why that thing doesn't work. N to close that window. So um, doing this, I could pick a couple of points, get some mountains in there, pick some more random points, holding the shift key down to get a couple of points in. And I think back here is where my biggest mountains are going to be. And uh, let me try this other one called random. So now with random selected, I'm going to press G and Z to go up. And what random does is it kind of adds some, yeah, randomness, as you could see, to the point going up. And I could control that too with my mouse wheel to say the effect of the point. So this kind of helps me make things look a little bit more jaggedy. Let's say I pick those and now let me unselect some of these. How do I unselect? I don't know. Let me just select again. Hold shift. This is where my biggest mountains are going to be. Let me just raise them up and use the smooth this time. G and Z. And yeah, that's going to be where my biggest mountains are. Now in the middle here, let me just pick a couple points so everything's not like so, so, so flat. And let me go back to the random. G and Z. And I could spread that out a little. Just to give a little bit of bumps, all right? So let me see how that looks. Render it up, maybe a little more for this um, G up a little more. And you know, I could even, I'm always using Z to go up, but I, I could do whatever. All right, so say this is like uh, the beginning of a landscape. Now I wanna put some materials on it. So this is the material properties and I'll add a new material. This first one, I'll call it um, grass. And grass is green, so I'll make it green. Do, 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 do. That's kind of like what I did. And I'll select everything and assign it. I'll assign this green grass. Did that work? It, it did work probably, but I'm probably going to have to use this renderer where I can see the material. All right, so there now I have green on everything. And I could make it here in Blender look a little less shiny, you know, being that it's grass. So I'll, I'll increase the roughness here in Blender. So I can see it like that. And then on the mountains, I could make them a different color. So over here, that was a grass material. Let me add another material that I could use, new. And this one, I'm going to give it a brown color. All right. And I guess I'll call it rock. Or Okay. Now to assign the rock to the mountains, what I'm going to do is a trick here. I'm just going to go right here inside view. And then therefore, I could select anything of a certain height, like that, and pick the rock color and assign it. And it didn't go through everything. Let me just do that again, but this time use the transparency so that I could select through everything, right? And then do it again, assign. 
and now that went through all the levels here to get the, um, the rock. Turn transparency off, you see. And now at the tippity top, I could put some snow. So let me add another one here and call it snow. And we're going to make the snow pink. No, I'm just kidding. We'll leave the snow as white. So I'll use the same thing again. I'll go like this, and I'll just say the very highest mountains are topped with snow right here. And I'll assign the snow to those tops. Oh, and once again, let me pick the transparent so I could pick through and assign the snow to the tops. And let's see what that looks like. OK. So I'm kind of getting this landscape here. Now, what else I could do is make a river like I did in the other one. So to make a river, what I did was I went to the top view, kind of, and then I just used, not this, I used the circle selector. So it's just like I could paint out a river path here. Um, and let me select faces. I'm just going to paint out a river path here that's just going to come through the um, scene. And now, with the river path painted out, I just do it again with the G key, uh, G, and really shrink down that size there, and then Z, G and Z, and I'm just going to indent like a river, okay, a river crevice. Uh, now, before I put the water, ooh, let me just control Z, let me paint the bottom of the river with the rock color, sign, and probably the sides too with the rock color. So let me just pick the sides. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. And a sign. And then on this side, you know, because grass is not going to be growing on the inside of uh, the walls. Remember, you hold shift so you can continue to increase your selection. Okay. and assign that. So now I kind of have like, it could be a canyon, it could be a river basin. Now if I want it to be a river basin, then what I'll do is I'll just make another plane. Um, so let me go back to object mode up here and then add another, another plane. And I could move it down a little bit. Okay, the, the water level could be down a little. And then let's do the subdivisions if we go to edit mode. And we'll subdivide this too. So uh, let me right click and pick subdivide. And maybe I could just say how many times I subdivide here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's give it a number of cuts is 10. What's the smoothness? Not doing anything. What's this fractal? Oh, I could have done that to start off with my mountains. All right, so here's one subdivide, and then I'll subdivide again. It's not, oh, I got to select it, A. Subdivide again. Just, it's the same idea again, this time with the water. All right, and now what I want to do is I want the water not to be perfectly flat, so I'm going to go into this mode here where I'm looking straight down, and let me just select the water in my river here, okay? And now I could add some randomness to it. So let me go to this view here and then press G and Z. And that's not, uh, that's not what I want to do, escape. Let me try the vertices select and um, G on the Z. That's probably better. No, that's not what I want to do either. All right, let me pick a couple of points then along the water. Do, 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 do. Couple of points along the water. That way, you know, I could have it be like rippling water like you saw. Okay, now let me try the G. G, Z, and okay. Maybe something like that, the water rippling. All right, let me just put the thing on. And let me try Z to have the water moving like this. All right, so if this is the water, I'm going to have to give it some color. So here again, 
with the, um, this is the water, let me name it water. And that one was the land. So now with the water selected, I'm gonna go and give it a material as well. The color for the water, of course, is gonna be orange. No, it's not, it's gonna be blue. So I'm gonna pick a blue and bring the color down. And the water should be not rough, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so it's more reflective. And okay, I think the roughness was the one. And we could say that's the water, water, okay? And basically, now we just made the terrain that um, you just saw. Now, since I have Blender installed on my computer and Unity installed on my computer, I could export this out with everything included. So I'm gonna have for the external data, I'm gonna click automatically pack everything into the Blender file, all the um, materials too. And I'll say file, save as, and I make sure that I am in my Unity project, the assets folder, and I have a subfolder called models. Let me just put this in my landscape three. I'm just gonna export this to my Unity folder, landscape three. And this is gonna put the Blender file in my Unity folder. So now when I go to Unity, Come on, Unity. Okay. Here in the models folder is the landscape three. And I could look in there and see that. Let me um, save this here. Save as landscape two. So I can make another scene for this new one I have. File, new scene. That's gonna be landscape three. Landscape three. Okay. So here is the um, blender file. See, it says dot blend. And there's materials in there. Okay, you see the, the different meshes. Now, what I wanna do is, let's see what happens when I bring it into Unity. There you go. Let me just reset everything to center and then focus on it. Everything looks kinda dark. What I'm gonna do is extract the materials from the file right here to this folder. And here they are, rock, snow, water. What, where's grass? Oh, grass is right here. So the colors are kinda dark here in Unity, but I'll brighten them up a little. There we go for the grass. Let's modify the color. And let me rotate this around. Okay, and we have the water, which is too dark as well. Let's bring that up to blue. And let us increase the, in Unity, the smoothness to have it look more like water. I don't know. What else do we have? The snow at the top. For some reason, everything came in so much darker, but I'll just fix the coloring here. All right, and then the rocks. The rocks. There we go. So here I imported that low poly terrain that I just made in Unity and here we have it. That I made in Blender and here we have it in, inside of Unity. I hope this tutorial gives you some new ideas. See you later.